Bible mugs you with Bible knowledge. <laughs> you mention an anagram of Hosea and you only make mine a prophet. <laughs> well, that was a bit of, well, Harry Baker versus O'Shea on Don't Flop. So they're having a rap battle. But actually, um... Who is it I was talking to? It was, um, I can't remember who, but anyway, I was talking to somebody on BookTube the other day and they were talking about Harry Baker too, which is quite cool. Um, I have an ear infection today, so I have a little blob of cotton in my ear. Very cool. Now, um, I get them quite a lot. I think I mentioned this in my previous vlog. I need to go to, uh, like my doctor and basically has to be referred to an ear throws and note specialist, which would be fun. But I'm not going to do that today because today is Words on the Pageathon. This is really bothering me. <laughs> yeah, so today is uh, Words on the Pageathon, which is uh, organised by Angela Hart over at Books on My Heart here on BookTube. It's basically like a 24 hour write a thon where you write as much as possible. So I'm going to be vlogging throughout and doing some screen captures and stuff. I'm mainly working on my memoirs, my life in books, as it's tentatively called at the moment. So it's a book about books and it's also. It's basically I'm going through my entire collection of books and relating it back to my life and using it to tell my life story if that makes sense. So I'm hoping to reach 10,000 words on it today. I'm currently I'm coming up to about 3,000 words and it is 10 past 12. So that's not too bad. Uh, yeah, well I guess I have another 12 hours to go because it goes until midnight. So yeah. All is good. Becker is at the vets with Biggie because he's got to go in to get uh, like his yearly uh, immunizations and also he needs to get weighed, have his claws trimmed, just a general checkup, you know. So, so she's taking him off to the vets and uh, he'll be back soonish, I suppose. In the meantime, I am going to go and do some more writing. I got this in the post today as well. So, this is the vegan kind snack box. Although it's not a snack box actually, it does say it's a lifestyle box because one of the things I've got is dry shampoo which I can't use because I have to use special like medicated shampoo so I'm giving that to Becca. And then the other thing is this curry masala blend, Fairfields Farm Lentil Bites, jalapeno and lime flavour. And right, if they'd have sent me lentil bites instead of these two items I could have had like seven packs of lentil bites which would have suited me down to the ground but it's fine we have a recipe to make oreo stuffed cookies vegan oreo stuffed cookies so i might do that at some point these things salted caramel munchy seeds nuglets raw cookie dough bites these from germany vegan caramel things i am glad that this arrived today because it means i can sort of sit here and and eat those while doing my writing for words on the page of thumb Oh, and I'm still reading Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice, and I am coming up to halfway through. It's all right. It's not as good as I was expecting it to be, to be honest. It's still reminding me of Rant as well by Chuck Palahniuk, which is, which is interesting. It's fine. I'm just getting a bit bored with it. But what I am really enjoying is like some of the various depictions of. Um, like vampiricism or whatever. So for example, what have we got here? So uh, this is where Lestat is talking to him about why you, you shouldn't drink the blood of dead people. Uh, so he goes, you'll die if you do that. He'll suck you right down into death with him if you cling to him in death. And now you've drunk too much, besides, you'll be ill. Which I just think is cool. A lot of these things that kind of show you what Anne Rice's take on vampires and the whole vampire legend. Like for example here, right, there's another thing where he has his last sunrise. So it's bef he's in kind of been infected with the vampire gene or whatever. But um, he's not a vampire yet so he can watch one last sunrise which I thought was quite interesting. So yeah. On that note, I'm off to go and do some more writing. I am reading bits of this throughout but I'm not going to finish it today. And to be honest, this vlog is going to be only for today. And then we're going to go back to sort of weekly reading vlog styles. Oh, okay. Words on the page a thon update. So... Well, first off, Becca and Biggie are back from the vets. So Biggie, bless him, he has to go on a special diet because he's getting fat. Basically, uh, yeah, he's he likes treats a lot and he meows for them. So sometimes we get lazy and give him treats when we probably shouldn't. So um, yeah, we've got to give him like a little plate of food diet a little bit to help him lose some weight because he's a chubby cat. But um, yeah, that's fine. Other than that, he's all good and he's just sulking in the bedroom somewhere. 
Becca's gone off to spend some time with her mum. I think they're watching the football. England are playing Sweden at the moment. They're 1-0 up. I'm not watching it. Well, to be honest, I can't watch it anyway because it's only on the BBC and you need a TV licence to watch the BBC. <laughs> and I don't have a TV licence because I only watch YouTube and Netflix and whatnot. So I could go to a pub. But I'm not going to, I'm perfectly happy just sitting here doing my writing. So I'm writing about Glastonbury at the moment actually. What is it that I wrote earlier? I wrote a nice little quote. Uh, the sheer size and spontaneity of the festival was often confusing and usually tiring. But in the best sense of the words, it was like living in a city of music. It was strange being so happy for such a prolonged period of time. Time doesn't exist at Glastonbury. So those are actually what I wrote in my notes at the time, because like when I go to Glastonbury or go on holiday or whatever, I take a notebook with me and write about it. So I've just been kind of re-going back through my Glastonbury notebooks to see what I wrote and then relating that back to then writing about that if that makes sense so um so that's fun it's nice to just be sitting here writing about glastonbury i also have these i've started eating these from my uh vegan kind box so these are my kuhn bonbons all the way from germany caramel sweets 100 percent vegan lovely delicious and uh yeah and cracking on with Anne rice as well so you know about halfway through now and uh, on that note, I'm going to go and get back to writing. I've hit 5,200 words, and my goal is to hit 10,000 uh, 10, by the end of the day. It's currently half three, so I still have like eight and a half hours or something. So it's looking good. It's looking good. Yo, okay. It is, um, it is half past five. In the afternoon, I've just hit 6,391 words. I'll move the camera over here so we're not getting the, the sunlight. It's rather hot. I uh, went to the shop, actually. Went to the shop to get me another energy drink to keep me going. And some beers as well. Here is my bag of beers. Yeah, carried on writing. Uh, that's basically what I've been up to. I've read a bit more of Interview with the Vampire, but not much. I'm going to share something with you that's really annoyed me. So, so the England football game was on, soccer to you Americans, for the World Cup. And they beat uh, Sweden 2-0. Which kind of annoys me anyway, because I actually don't want England to win. For a specific reason, because I know a lot of people who are really into football, who are basically dickheads. So... <laughs> It's 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 more that I personally don't care whether England wins or loses, but I know a lot of people that I don't like will be really upset if England loses, which makes me want England to lose. But that's by the by. But I'm currently annoyed because um, in the commentary for it from the BBC, the the uh, the commentator said there might be someone reading a book at home. If so, you need to get a life. Now I didn't actually hear this being said because. I wasn't watching the football, ironically I was reading a book at home and um, I'm not happy by that. about that. I think that's a really awful message to send out. In fact, one thing that I personally think is that if people spent more time reading books and less time watching football, the world would be a better place. So um, yeah, I don't support the BBC anyway. I mean over here what it is is you have to pay a license fee for the BBC, so if you watch any you know BBC online TV stuff or whatever including the football which was only available through the BBC you have to pay like £150 a year or something it's like $200 or something per year and uh, so I don't I don't pay that because I don't watch the BBC online I don't watch BBC TV I don't listen to their radio channels I get by on YouTube and Netflix and Spotify but um I'm even more determined to boycott them now, so I'm I'm going to stop using the BBC News website as well because if they're going to go around saying that if you're reading a book at home you need to get a life, fuck you BBC, fuck them, seriously, fuck them. That is not a good message to be sending at all and I don't care what what whether it's the World Cup or what it is, you can't fucking go around saying that. So I'm really not happy about that, I think that's really messed up and I just hope that people weren't listening to that and actually agreeing with that rubbish. I mean, who wants to watch 11 overpaid people chase a ball around some grass when you could be reading Interview with a Vampire? Jesus Christ. People need to sort out their fucking priorities, I tell you. Look who's come through to keep me company while I write. 
Hey Biggie, are you in a grumpy mood because you had to go to the vets? Oh yeah. Uh, I was talking to you. Where are you going? What are you doing? Oh, are you sitting like a little human? Yeah, cleany, 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 cleany. Alright buddy, all is going well. I'm still writing, I've hit about 8,500 words. I'm on page 210 or so of Interview with a Vampire. I might even do a full review of this on my channel, so we will see. But um, yeah, that's it. I, I literally, I only, uh, oh hello. I literally only picked the camera up because I saw Biggie coming in. And I thought, I thought you guys might like to see him because I know he is a, he's a favorite. Biggie, Biggie, you're YouTube famous. Aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> It just shows you, it underlines what we have to lose, what we stand to lose, unless we stop this madness. I sort of feel like YouTube people would be quite happy to just watch an hour of Biggie cleaning himself. I'm not going to do booktube anymore, we're going to do biggie tube. Alright, oh, my face looks red. It's because I'm feeling a little bit hay fevery and tired and just, uh It is, it has just gone midnight, so it is the end of Words on the page thon My final word count, oh, it's gone. Hang on a minute. I just wrote this down, where is it? So my final word count for the day was 11,717 words, which is pretty good. I don't think it's my record. I think my previous two words on the page of I've written more, but I did always know this was gonna be a sort of slightly easier going one for me, I guess. I'm still pretty happy with what I've done though, and it's been good. I've been mostly doing my memoirs, as I mentioned. I wrote that song as well, so that was good. I'm also up to page 264 of 368 on Interview with a Vampire. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think I'm enjoying it more now than I was for the, maybe the first 100 pages or so. I still wouldn't, it's like nowhere near my favourite book or anything, but it's fine. It's probably like a 3.5, maybe a 4, something like that. So um, I'm, I'm probably going to do a full review on that, so we will see. But yes, in the meantime, I thought I would uh, sign out for now. I'm going to call it a day on this video blog, and then my next reading vlog will be like the next week or so we'll be back to normal service or whatever as uh, I finish reading uh, Interview with a Vampire and also I've got a couple more buddy reads coming next week as well on that note thanks a lot for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video leave me a com comment on I don't know well tell me if you've ever read Interview with a Vampire let me know who your favorite vampire is let's do that let me know that in the comments hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot bye bye